James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is February 7th, 2023, 2 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had our second M flare today, an M1.6, and we are heading up trying to maintain an M baseline. That would be the first time I'd ever seen that if we ever get there. Again, we've just had an M1.6 solar flare. I'm going to show you all exactly where it came from and what occurred. And according to the text I just received, the M flare was generated by Sunspot 3213, just named and just became more complex as discussed in our earlier update. This is directly Earth facing. If they tell you anything else, they're not telling you the truth. Let's see if we can get a picture of what occurred here. Head over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms. We can see the M1.6 flare pop off there directly Earth facing. It doesn't look like much, does it, folks? But it is directly Earth facing. I think that they are hiding some truth from us, and I'm about to show you all that. But this should have an Earth component to it, and I'm guessing that our X-ray absorption is going to be indeed showing just that. Before we head over there, I need to show you all something that I believe has been hidden from the citizens of Earth. So here at 1254, we have what looks like just over four and a half hours missing, complete missing data. And you can see that there's been a large explosion that continues on the north side. Well, that probably came from Sunspot 3213, which just expelled this CME, i.e. solar flare, at 2227. So this was much earlier. Again, they cut the feed at 1254, and when they turn it back on, you can see the explosion, but the explosion looks like it would have been generated by Sunspot 3213. It's exactly where it should be if that Sunspot were to blow. Very strange. Why would they cut the feed for so many hours? And why would they report the solar flare late? Although we did see the solar flare or a small pop on GOES solar ultraviolet imager just now. Take a look at the X-ray absorption charts. All right, heading over to our D region absorption prediction center. We had a C flare there. Then the M flare popped in right when it was supposed to, about 1350. And then we we're going to have to go all the way to 2027 to see the M1.6 flare that has just occurred. And there it is, almost directly over Hawaii, off the coast of South America and Central America mostly covering the Pacific Ocean here. 2008, and it seems to have happened mainly at 2008. That seems to be the peak. And see the radio alternation actually went by 25, maybe 27 decimals, which tells us there will be some trouble with ham radio activity and mariner activity uh well for a short period of time during the uh, magnitude of this flare and just to double check and triple check we can see that we do have an influx of electrons right about that same time that broke the space weather alert threshold god bless you and yours please share and subscribe and always remember that anything is possible in bizarro world.